Oh, wow. Can't be that easy. Wow. Hi, everyone. I'm George Freikan from Lights on Data. And in this quick tutorial, I'll show you how to build your first production data pipeline using Nexla Express. We'll pull our data from an API, transform it, and deliver it automatically into a warehouse, all in just a few minutes. Let's get started. So to give you a quick intro, this Nexla Express lets you build end-to-end -end data pipelines simply by describing what you want in natural language, like migrate data from Salesforce to BigQuery, send Salesforce leads to Google Sheets, load CSV from Dropbox to BigQuery, and so on. You can just chat with it, tell it your source and your destination, maybe have some data transformation in between as well. Express will only ask you for the inputs that it generally needs and then build everything for you. Okay, first, let's create our account. I'm actually just connecting with my Gmail account. All right, it's asking for my company name, Lights on Data, and quickly set up our profile here. Let's say Data Science, let's say um, MySQL, Power BI, and Excel. Big shout out to Abhijit and Jayashree for getting me a walkthrough on this, by the way. Really appreciate it. All right, we are in. Let's start building our data pipeline. Let's just say I want to pull in some news from my from my news API uh, credential. Okay, let's start with that. All right. Okay, so Express detects the connector and checks if I already have credentials stored. If not, it will prompt me to create and provide them. Uh, here, I'll um, just select an existing credential from the dropdown. Now, notice how this UI element is generated on the fly based on what the agent needs. I think that's kind of cool. I like this generative UI idea. Okay, let's continue. So, Express then discovers all these available endpoints. In this case, breaking news by country, keyword, uh, or all articles. In this case, I'll go into this data credentials view and I'll choose uh, breaking news headlines for a country. I'll select US and technology. I'm gonna test this endpoint to see what happens. And it looks like we got an API response with uh, some real sample data from that endpoint. Okay, looks, looks good. I'm certain that this is the correct endpoint that I want. Okay, I'll just tell it that's what I want, uh, basically here. All right, I'll just be descriptive and just say I want to pull in um, technology news from the US. There. What I like about this is that I don't really have to learn a specific formula and that I need to follow on how to provide it instructions. It just understands from this natural language instruction that I gave it. Okay. It looks like it needs me to mention how often uh, it should fetch this data. So yeah, I can just select that 15 minutes or I can just simply say, create the source uh, using uh, some defaults. Okay, in this case, it looks like it set up the source with hourly data fetches. And, and of course, it's also giving me this graphical visualization of the flow which to me, being a visual learner, I really appreciate it. Now we can see it also created this uh, next set, which is basically a reusable data product that is an encapsulation of some sample data and relevant schemas. And because it's reusable, I can also share this product with others from my team if I want to, or you know, have it in other pipelines, of course, right? So yeah, if, um, if we go in here, we can see the title, content, description, some of the metadata samples, which uh, I always appreciate. Okay, next, uh, let's just transform that data a little bit. Uh, you know, type all that in. And in this case, I'll ask it convert all the author um, names to uppercase. Now I can see some really cool use cases for this, such as uh, asking it to uh, mask PII, normalize timestamps, apply a common data model, standardize fields, and so on. Okay, so the agent automatically inspected the data samples and chose the right transformation method. Uh, often it seems to be Python, by the way, and it generated the code to modify the author field. And we can have here a visual, let's click on it. 
to uh, see that, yeah, everything seems to be fairly okay. It applied those transformations. Now we're done with that. Uh, let's um, now push this into a data warehouse. In this case, let's move this data to a BigQuery table. And okay, what we're going to do here, we can just ask it to use my latest available credentials and the specific database here and, and table. And let's do automatic uh, mapping. Otherwise, it will ask me all these things. Actually, let's also uh, say um, use sensible defaults for any other configurations. Just you know, for the sake of uh, brevity here. So Express then creates the sync, maps the fields automatically, and creates and activates the, the BigQuery sync. So within seconds, it appears as a new node in this flow graph. And we can do just a quick visual view of what it has done. So there you go. In just a few minutes, we set up our account, connect into an API, explore the data, apply the transformation, and send it to its destination. We just completed our first pipeline all without writing any script or building any infrastructure. If you want to try this yourself, log into Nextlight Express, describe what you need, and let the agent guide you. Let me know what you think. Thank you for watching. Until next time, let's keep putting the lights on data.